Welcome back everybody, Bearded Griller. I don't know if you've had the chance to try a sous vide in your own food yet. I have, I love it. Um, something I've noticed after using my Anova quite a bit with our hard, really minerally water, we started to get some buildup on the outside, the inside, and as you can see right down here around the impeller and all the other stuff. And if you look online, you can find some complicated instructions on how to take all this apart and scrub it and clean it. And if you look a little further online, you can find that just put your Anova 50-50 with some white vinegar to 140 degrees, let it run for a little bit, and it should wash itself clean. So that's what we're going to do today. I went ahead and I found the, the tallest, narrowest pot to try to avoid the waste of vinegar for doing this. So if you can, I'm going to try and get this as high as I can at the max fill line. So let's get this guy put back together. Locks in just like that. Slip our collar back on. This pan doesn't quite let me get to the max fill line, but it's going to be really close. So that's what I'm going to do. Get this guy plugged in right here. And luckily for me, this pan's actually out of my pressure cooker, so it's got lines inside that tell me how many ounces I'm going to fill. I'm going to go ahead and hit it. Goes up to cell 18. So I'm going to load it up to nine. There's right at about nine cups. Now, let's fill it up with some cold water. All right. That's what got me about that far off the top. I'm going to turn it on, make sure we don't splash out. See what we got. I'm already set to 140 degrees on the dial. It's only up to about 78 degrees and you can see little chunks floating around already. It's only been running for about maybe three or four minutes. So we'll check our progress here in a few minutes once it hits 140. After putting a little bit of thought into it and not wanting to dilute my solution, just got a regular mason jar filled with plain water to help displace my solution to make sure we get up closer to that max fill line. It's been about 15 minutes or so. Let's go ahead and take this apart, see what it looks like. Get this a little dry. Eh, there's still just a little bit of residue on the outside, not much. What there is is wiping right off. Let's open this up and see what the impeller looks like. Oh, a night and day difference. You can really see how much that cleaned up. There's still just a little bit left in there, but I think it'll be just like the outside. Just give everything just a little bit of a wipe. Yeah, it's all coming right off. Be extra careful to make sure that you do not put too much pressure on and bend this impeller. That would be a nightmare. Just nice light pressure. Looks good to me. Well, if you guys run into this problem like I did, make sure to give it a shot. See you next time. Beardy Griller.